efficient and environmentally friendly district heating brings locally produced energy to cities and urban areas. It is the most common heating method in Finland and in Turku. In Turku, district cooling, an efficient method for keeping large buildings cool, relies almost entirely on renewable energy sources. But let's see how district heating and district cooling are delivered to the customers. The majority of the district heat used in the Turku sub-region is transmitted from the Nantali power plant to the distribution network via a district heating tunnel. District heating substations are dotted around the network. In Oriketo, heat is produced from biomass and combustible waste around the year. Oil is also used in the coldest periods. The heat pump in the Kakola wastewater treatment plant supplies energy for district heating and cooling by capturing waste heat from treated wastewater. The district heating water running in the distribution network reaches the customers at temperatures ranging from 70 to 115 degrees and returns to be heated once it has cooled down to 35 to 50 degrees. The extent of the network is over 550 kilometers. The pipe diameter is as small as 2 centimeters at minimum and up to 80 centimeters at maximum. A hot water reserve is used to balance out peak demand for example, in the mornings. This eliminates the need to start up oil-powered heating substations for momentary needs. The storage inside an old gas tank has the capacity of 6 million liters of district heating water. Heat production and distribution is monitored and controlled from Turku Energia's control room around the clock. The heat exchanger in a building transfers the energy from district heating water to the consumers for heating the building and household water. The network is continuously being extended and serviced. It expands by several kilometers every year and the old sections of the network are repaired following a maintenance plan. A non-toxic coloring agent is used to dye the district heating water green to make any leaks easier to spot. Shut-off valves are located at junctions and in various line sections. These can be used to close down sections of the network to enable building work and fault repairs. At such times, the water flow is diverted around the closed sections. Main shutoff valves can be controlled directly from the control room, for example, in case of a line fault. The cold water running in the district cooling network comes to the customer at 7 degrees and returns at 17 degrees for recooling. The network currently covers the Turku city center, Itaharju, and Skansi areas. Cooling energy is transferred to the cooling system of the building. District cooling customers are mainly business and service premises, but an increasing number of residential buildings also use environmentally friendly district cooling. District heating and cooling are undergoing continuous development to meet the needs of the environment, the evolving building stock and the customers. Effortless use, reliability, Competitive pricing and eco-efficiency will always be the main strengths. 
At the same time, smart systems, new production techniques on various scales, monitoring services and pricing methods are being introduced in the heating network. District Heating is ready to face the future.